This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. <laughs> All right, guys, girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Or, or, or bats would say, can you hike it? <laughs> All right, check it out. This is part five. 1999 Dodge Dakota with a 3.9 engine that we're replacing. You can see the little complications we've been going through with this. But uh, that's the things you deal with when you deal with a used engine. Personally, on, on my personal opinion of this, if I would have saw this engine the way it is. I like, listen, you got to give me another one. Or, or actually, I wouldn't even do that. Actually, me, I'd, I'd go ahead and rebuild it like I'm doing when we do the Jeep. All right, last time we left off, we was getting into it, and all of a sudden, we had to change the intakes, and because the intakes was different, and all the uh, injectors, the harness, and all that, so forget it. Changed all that, and we did not have the intake manifold gasket, and the auto parts store didn't have it in stock. So we're waiting this morning for Fisher Auto Parts to drop off our intake manifold gasket. We're gonna put that together, get this engine in, and try to finish bolting up everything on the bottom half all right that's what that's what my plans are for this episode all right so what i'm going to do right now is get everything ready uh unwrap the engine because we wrap it up in plastic for overnight and all and uh wait on fisher we'll be right back all right guys i turned the intake upside down i cleaned it up nice and clean this thing is as cruddy as anything uh you know, I want to be very careful. I do not want to start scraping this old stuff off because that's all I need, especially over here down into this engine. I do not need for somebody, you know, LKQ or wherever something goes wrong with this engine. They say, well, you know, he scraped that stuff up and it went down into the engine and clogged up the oil pump screen. No, you will not be blaming Astro at all for this. So, <laughs> done. All right, we got our new... um intake manifold gasket and this is cool because these guys got little tabs on them but that's all we have to do is pop the tabs in place line them up and the way it looks from the way it looks right there we're probably gonna have to let me see these things got a upper and outer and all this mess All right, you know what, I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of glue into those ports. That's kind of cheesy, man. They should have been thicker to hold in there better. And then we gotta do this on both ends just to get them staying in place. And then we're gonna put our intake on and bolt that down. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I got the intake gasket on. And if you're doing this, you wanna make sure you take a dab of RTV silicone and you want to put it on each of the corners and this is pretty much with all intake manifold gaskets because it will leak out of there let's get it right there all right and what I'm gonna do here is just put a dab on the tips on these little points to keep that uh, in place when we put the intake on. All right, I will see you when this intake is on. All right, we got the intake on. Torque the bolts down to 12 foot pounds. That's what the to make sure you do not over tighten those bolts. All right, what I got over here now, I took off all my um distributor wires so I can put this intake. Whoa, oh man. All right, I got it. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. You're just about to fall over. Right there. Like this. You got it? Yeah. All right. Dang. I took off my wires so I can get my intake down on here. Now I'm going to put them back on. And I always number them. Like here's number one. So I'm going to put that right there. And then follow all the way around. And I can connect this oil pressure sender. Okay. Let's 
okay? All right, let me get the wires on, and then the next thing we're gonna do is get our thermostat and gasket. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got everything situated. The next thing we're gonna do while we got it out here, let's take off our thermostat. Try to look inside here. Just, just in case you, this thing can turn back and forth, we notice a little tab here, and this tab actually says front, so you can't get confused on that, if you know how to read. Whoosh. Oh, well, this, this was the old engine. <laughs> so, man, look at this mess, man. Somebody did not know how to take away, take a clean off. All right, so I'm going to get this all cleaned up, and then what we're going to do is, uh, change it let me clean that up and I'll be right back all right guys we got it all nice and cleaned up and you see how pitted this thing is that thing is like really pitted um, so definitely gonna have to you definitely use silicone on this a very little because you don't want to get no silicone into the thermostat Now your new thermostat gasket might come with a little piece of paper on it don't use the paper take it off now they expect you to just take this and stick it up there and keep it moving but don't do that because with that pitted stuff in there, you're going to mess that thing up. All right? It's going to leak. All right. So let's get our new thermostat. All right? Get some silicone. Get our bolts. Let's go over here to the engine. Take your thermostat. Set it down in there. Doesn't matter how you put it. Whichever way you want. Just don't put it like that. Don't put it upside down. Upside down like that. Just like that. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is take my silicone and this is where you gotta be very careful with silicone I mean you gotta use like a very thin bead this is just this is just going a thin bead just going around the edges get our gasket place our gasket in place Okay, then put another small bead around just like that. Now some, some uh, gaskets have pre-molded silicone. There'd be a bead of silicone that's already sealed up and everything, hardened and everything. Those are the best. All right, now those, that's the front. Let me get this thermostat on, bolt it up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do, before we forget, let's get this hose clamp down here. And we're going to tighten this up. And then we're going to move all our harness out of the way. Because then what we're going to do is get that whole thing, that bracket up there. Put that bracket on. Make sure that's nice and tight. Don't want to have to get in there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is, let's see here. We got one, two, three. Let's take these bolts out. I think it's these three over here. I ain't going to need them no more anyway. Let's make sure our dipstick is out of the way. And we're going to take our whole bracket. Put our bracket up here. Get us a bolt started.
make sure nothing's in the way of this. this bracket in the way up here. I gotta hold this bracket up. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's get all the bolts in, bolt this bracket up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our bracket bolted on, harness going across, everything's looking good. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna take off this, uh, this bolt and bracket right here that holds on down the air cleaner because when they took theirs out, theirs broke. And I'm not looking to break mine. So, I mean, we took it out without breaking it. Here we go. Got to bring that hook right there. This chain. It's going to be great. All right. Let's get our chain hooked up and get this engine in there. Be right back. All right, guys. We're down here. We're up under the hood. We're gonna be we're gonna be the engine. Yeah, we're astral. <laughs> All right, we gotta put the converter in. Now the converter, you see the slot right there? The slide, the slide. There's two two uh, flat sides. That's gonna go down into the pump. You wanna make sure that converter goes down into the pump. And this is with all uh, transmissions that have a converter on them. So the first thing you wanna do is gonna go like two slots. One, two steps. One, it's in like that can't push it back no more. That is not where you want it, okay? So what you wanna do next is take your hand right here, you're gonna wiggle up and down while spinning the converter while pushing back, and that converter's gonna go boom, slide right back. Bam, there it is right there. And you'll know it when you can't put your fingers, you can't fit no fingers between the converter and the housing of the transmission right back here. That's how you know you got it. Now that is set. That is perfect. Now, and we got, we still got our hydraulic jack up under there to keep the transmission up as high as possible so we can come in at that angle and get this engine lined in. Make sure everything is out of the way. Everything is great. Perfect. All right, let's get that engine and set it down. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we got it up on the hoist. We got it tilted at a nice, beautiful angle to go in there. Um, I'm gonna have to take that oil filter off once we get down there for that transmission bolt. But, let's bring this engine over and get it in. We'll be right back. All right, we're ready to go in. Um, and I got my harness over here, going down to the transmission and, uh, one of the, and the O2 sensor. So I gotta make sure as I'm going down, I gotta put this down by the in, on top of the transmission and let this go down there. And also what I did was put a, a tie strap on my crank sensor so nothing gets involved with around here. And I got my carpet in here to protect up against things. So we'll be right back. All right guys, got it halfway in there. Now, I'm gonna start lowering it down slowly. Now, to do this part right here, you know, without any problems, guys, I mean, you got the hoist holding up the engine. So even if you have to let it down one or two inches, at a time, that's what you do to make sure this thing lines up perfect. Don't, don't try to go willy-nilly and drop the thing down there and expect everything to line up like, like I can do. I can drop this engine down right now at 20 miles an hour and it'll line right up with that transmission. That's how good I am, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right. Cause you don't want to? No, that's right. I don't feel like it. All right. I want to make sure, like I'm see, I'm getting close to the firewall in the back. So I want to be careful, and at the same time, 
I got my room right here. So just make sure I got enough room to go back. And I want to keep my cardboard right there. Let's back this engine up a little bit just right here. Because as we drop it down, that engine is going back towards the back of the vehicle. So, so we can drop it, bring it like forward a little bit. Okay. And you can see it hitting toward the back again. And this is a good time to when I get further down, I'm going to start fishing my uh, wiring harness back through there. And actually, I'm at a point now where I'm actually going to start doing that. I'm going to bring that harness down there. Start going down the air. I'm not worried, worried. I'm not worried about my motor mounts because hey, I can get them. I can actually bolt this up, keep the hoist up there, and then pick it back up and uh, put the mounts in. I think it's going to be a lot easier for me to line this up with those mounts out. All right, let me drop down a little bit more. Now I'm gonna sit here and play around with it a little bit by little bit to get them lined up. And once I get it lined up, I'm gonna show you. Right, let me I turn this. This looks like it's gonna pull a little bit. There we go. All right, my harness is still going down there. All right, we're looking good. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got this. That's you see that angle we at. <laughs> All right, and got my oil filter is leaking over there. So we go up under here, and I got one bolt started. And the other bolt, I got to remove the oil filter to uh, get that other bolt that's going in like that. But, you know, when I remove the oil filter, this is going to have oil everywhere. So what I'm going to do here is bring this bolt in a little bit more, then... Uh, take off the oil filter, get that bolt started, bring both of them back. That's going to line me right up perfectly. And then I'm going to um, get the rest of the bell housing bolts in before I put the motor mounts in. Because that way, the, the, the bolts on the top, I can lower this engine down a lot uh, with those mounts out. Alright, so I'm going to get that done. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm up under here. I got those two bolts in. Brought my wiring harness around, got it connected up here. And what we did was let the engine all the way down so you can see the oil pan resting on the frame right there. That's great because that's what helped me get those wiring harness back there. Now that I'm right here, can remember this bag we stuck in here for the fluid. Not that there's a fluid in there. Now I'm at the perfect angle where I can get um, one, two, three, three, there should be three. One, two. Okay, got that one right there. So I got that one. Yeah, the other two bolts on this side. But before I put the bolts on this side, I gotta get my uh, transmission dipstick and stick down there because the, it bolts up to there. So I'm gonna get that in. Then I'm gonna go to the other side and get the other bell housing bolts in, and we're gonna be looking good for that. And I might put the, I don't know, before I put the mounts in, I might do the torque converter bolts too. Don't know. Um, all right, let me get the bolts and the, the mount, the uh, dipstick, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the bell housing bolts in. The next thing I'm gonna do before I put the transmission dipstick tube in, and before I, it's so much easier with the mounts out, and I got the engine, the engine resting on the frame right there. It's great. The next thing we're gonna do is we got 31 millimeter socket 
right up here. Got my long extension. And we're gonna do those converter bolts. And you can actually move the converter if you need to be to get both bolts lined up. And get our 14 millimeter bolt in there. Just like that. All right, and let's turn this clockwise. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. There we go. And what I want to do here is before I tighten that one up, I'm going to go around, turn the engine around, and get all of them in there. And then we're going to go around and tighten them up. All right, let's do, get that done, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, the next thing we do, you know what? Let's get this engine hoist out of here. So now we're going to lower the engine down onto our mounts. And I can see that I'm off right now a little bit. So I'll get me a heavy duty pry bar down here. Yeah. Be careful with those brake lines. Oh, yeah. Let me get the pipe. And one hand is going to. Lower the lower the engine down. And the other one's gonna hold that over so you can lock into place. Man, can't get no pick. Let me check my other side to make sure my other side went in. Yes it did. So now I'm going to lower it all the way. That's it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is unhook my chain and we're going to get this hoist out of here. All right. We'll be right back. All right. We're looking good. The next thing we'll do is let's tighten up our motor mount bolts. And on the left side is a 13 16th. or 21. The other side I'm using my 18 millimeter deep impact. Get my little wobble socket. Let's get our power string put on there. And let's tighten that up. We'll tighten up our other side and we'll be right back all right guys what you're looking at right now this is where we're gonna let's put our starter in there first thing we'll do is plug our starter up and what i'm doing is plugging it up right now nut right here so let's tighten this up and then we'll be right back all right guys we're getting our starter set up in here 
this remember this plug in the beginning this plug, this little tab had broken off there i had to put a wire top there forget that to get that in there now let's try to get this starter in here Starters in, then we can get our lines and put our lines back up there on top because there's a little bracket right there that holds our bolts in. So on the bottom one, we got a, a lock nut, a lock washer, and a nut. Okay, and then we reach up there and put our bolt through the line, then move the line around to get it to line up with the starter hole. All right, let's get that in and we'll be right back. All right guys, we got the starter bolted up. The next thing we're gonna do is get our exhaust system hooked up. This should be pretty easy. We got the bolt coming in from the top. And I can hold that in place. I can guess, get, let me see this thing. Yeah, figures, man. That's all I have to do to get this started. And what I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm being kind of lazy here because I know I should get a jack and hold this exhaust system up. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna use my knee. Okay, here we go. That's all I'm gonna do is just get this nut started up there. Just a little bit. And being that's giving me a hard time, I'll tell you what. Give me a 14 millimeter deep, a six inch extension. Put the nut up there. That should be, that should be a lot better. There we go. get all four of them in and we'll be right back all right now we got all four nuts and bolts in now we're going to tighten them up and what I got here is a 14 millimeter real short wrench that's just to hold the ones up and hold the top bolt in place and as you can see this is off of the line right here so that's all you want to do is make sure make sure that's on like that and I'm using a 12 inch uh, half inch drive extension with my wobble socket and a 14 millimeter impact socket get right there and get it somehow up here and tighten that up then go to the other side and get our wrench and hold that one in place tighten that up and go back over here and make sure this one's Nice and tight. And then we're gonna tighten up the other side. Be right back. Alright guys, we're on the right side of the engine right now. And we're about to wipe put the oil filter on. Wipe this off right here so it can make a nice seal. What's that? Hey, it looks like they actually marked LKQ on the engine. Personally, what I seen on the inside of this engine and uh the freeze out plugs. I wouldn't put my name. <laughs> I inscribe. I scrape. I scribe my competitor's name up there. <laughs> All right. Put a little uh, oil on the seal. You would definitely want to do that when you put the new oil filter on it, because if you don't, it, it's a possibility it can bind up and mess up 
Now they say to put your oil filter on, you know, till it stops and then turn it hand tight. Guys, whatever you do, do not do that. Do not. I, too many times I've did oil changes and this oil filter be loose and something and actually be leaking a little bit. Do not do that. I don't care what they say. Get you an oil filter wrench and you want to tighten that up. So I'm going to get one and tighten that up. And then I'm going to drop this, take this drain plug down to make sure that it says it's got a sticker of no oil in it. But, uh, I just want to be sure of everything. Let's see what comes out of here. You see that? Yeah. Let's see what, let's see if anything comes out of here. Some, they sure did drain it. All right, let's take this little tag off right here. We ain't gonna need this no more. All right, we're good. Let's tighten this back up. And this is good, showing that we did open it up and tighten it back up. Where's my ratchet at? So ain't nobody gonna say they did that and loose it loosened up. This thing looks this this oil pan even look like it's been hit around. Okay, nice and tight. Wipe that off. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is while I'm pumping to here, I am gonna put my transmission dipstick tube in so we can let this vehicle down and do everything on top. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, just finished tightening up my oil filter. Uh, Pan up under here. This is a piece I had going in there to the for the transmission dipstick. Put that on. Now I was gonna drop the vehicle down and then hook up everything on the top, but you know what? Just in case we're pulling this engine back out, I'm gonna leave this up in the air. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much we we are done underneath. Everything is complete. Let's move on to the next step. We'll be right back. All right, so that's the end of part five on this 99 Dodge Dakota with 3.9 and it was an engine removal. So we put the, finished up the engine, the intake, put the engine in, hooked everything up underneath. Next episode, we'll be hooking everything up on top and finishing it. And then we'll see how it goes from there. So. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can post them below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstroAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.